Hello, I'm Andrew Dyer, and welcome to another edition of the Round Ball Report, the only show in the area dedicated to highlighting the extras of the high school, college, and professional basketball teams which play in the Washington metropolitan area. And here with me again is my co-host, the head coach of Capital Christian High School, Nikki Lewis. Nikki, welcome back. Thank you. Thank and you. And basketball season must be over for you because you got your voice back. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is. We're in postseason workouts, and I'm out heavily recruiting. All right, and you still have what again? <laughs> I have five scholarships available for next year. We are accredited through Middle States, and I'm looking for assistant coaches, so please give me a call. All right, well, Nikki, another team who this season is over with yes. is uh, Forestville High School, and it's not before doing some great things. We've got yes. them here to talk about all the things that they've accomplished. Again, two, two times state champions. Two times. That's where I'm trying to get to. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, guys. We have Forestville Knights here with us today. Welcome to the show, Thank ladies, you, and congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Now, we got head coach James Boogie Washington, assistant, assistant coach, and uh, the young ladies here. And, coach, um, I talked to you during the Title IX tournament where you had a chance to play against the number one team in the country. Yeah. Came up short that night, but you told me that you guys were on a quest to, to capture the second consecutive championship. Okay. It sounds easy because all the games were not competitive, but talk about how hard it was for you as a coach to get these ladies to do it a second time. Oh, it's, it's always harder the, the second time around. Um, when I was in high school, I won in my junior year. My senior year, we came up short, and we thought we had an easier road. Um, but to keep these girls focused and, um, and keep them prepared and ready for whatever came our way was the, was the challenge. Um, I told them, regardless, we don't look at the team and their record. We just let, we go out there and play our basketball because we, we can be at one, play one team that's not that talented today. Mm -hmm. Tomorrow we're playing the Riverdale Baptists of the world. So we got to got to continue to stay steady, you know, and have a stable ground. And as you guys track through your season and you're winning and you're doing mm -hmm. well, was it hard to keep the girls humble? Absolutely. Was it hard for I them mean, not to look at the team like, oh, we got this beat oh, before Nikki, they even step on the court? Nikki, was that difficult? You don't understand. Nikki. <laughs> They're superstars in the school. <laughs> you know, that, I mean, everyone loves them. Right. And you know what comes with that with these te teenage girls, you know. Mm -hmm. um, definitely trying to keep them humble. Um, definitely finding every little thing that we can use to keep them hungry. Right. And um, they did that for the most part. It was a struggle. Okay. And I'm, I'm glad the season is over. You know, it's a whole different weight off my shoulders once that horn went off in the championship. I see know? the excitement. Of course, you did it with yeah. your assistant coach. And talk about what it's been like for you over the last couple of years. Well, it's, it's been a struggle, like, like James said, um, mainly keeping the girls focused. They're kind of like a celebrity in the schools and in, in their, um, with their peers. So keeping them humble, keeping them focused, especially on their grades and things like that, mm -hmm was a task but you know James and I have been doing this for about 10 years now and um, together we we, ju we just find a formula to get things done. Well let's meet some of these superstars starting with you. Hi my name is Anaya Barnes um, I'm number 13 I play the center and I'm class of 2018. I'm Taysha Moore my number is five my position is small forward and I'm class of 2016. My name is Aaliyah Mutharu Number two, I'm a point guard in the class of 2019. My name is Carrie Gross. I'm number 25. I play shooting guard, and I'm class of 2K18. My name is Anissa Rivera. I'm number 35. I play power forward. I'm class of 2019. My name is Talia Washington. They call me new, and I'm a class of 2018, and I'm the point guard. My name is Kier Kiki Smith. I'm number zero, I play point guard, and I'm the class of 2016. See, just like them probably in once, they probably laugh around and everything with game time, they're ready to go, right? Oh, <laughs> locked in, <laughs> locked and loaded. And <laughs> <laughs> yeah, talk about the challenge, because you guys are doing it, all these the superstars in the school, and the school is shutting down. Talk about how, how, how you guys dealt with that throughout the year. It was tough. Uh, it was tough for me, uh, just because I'm alumni, mm -hmm. and also um, Coach Cisco. he's also alumni. It's hard for us to, um, to grasp the fact that something that's been so big for us is like uh, for the community. You know, the community is, we're big about the community. We're all about our community, and to see this school go down, it was like a home for all the ones that have passed through. You right. know, it's small atmosphere, and we're going to miss that, you know. But um, really feel good about being able to leave on a high note and leave this legacy behind. Really feel really proud about that. So, you know, a piece of me will be gone because the school is gone, but we have these memories. So can you talk about what the next plan is yet? 
Um, Nikki, you trying to start something? <laughs> see, see, you know, I'm curious. Wasn't go there. See, see, she went in on our conversation. I kept my word. I kept my word. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah. well, to well, be determined, right? Being a competitor that Nikki is, of course, she want to know. Um, but we we have some things on the horizon. Um, we just wanted to get through the season and stay focused and. With all of, with that cloud hanging over us, and people want to know, and the rumors swirling, what would they do next year, and things. Well, um, the girls deal with that pretty good. Um, it's been really tough for me, just because I'm the one get asked the questions all the time, mm -hmm. and just trying to give a steady or focused answer. But at the end of the day, we're gonna let God do His do. You know, and we and we have figured the rest out along the way. I accept that. Yeah. I accept <laughs> that. So the season is over, and what a lot mm -hmm. of people know, you're moving on into AAU season. Yes. Yes. Well, of course, I'm the um, director of Havoc City Elite um, organization. Um, proud, proud organization going into our sixth year. Um, this year we're expanding. I'm proud to say we're going to have um, high school teams for all age groups. Okay. Um, so we're opening up. If you're interested, just um, hit us up. My number is easy to find. Havoc City Elite, just Google us. And uh, we're looking for new talent. I mean, we're, we're about ex trying to expose a lot of, not so much of the, the top players in the area, but some of the underdogs that just need a chance, mm -hmm. need that exposure. We, we love taking nothing and making it into something. Uh, and because that's the majority program. of these girls came from your program, right? Absolutely, the majority of them. Um, think the, everyone behind me, standing right now, is <laughs> definitely from my, my program. And I think we have one more that's not here with us today. But um, we do have kids all through the county. Um, Largo just had to, that just won a state championship. Mm -hmm. Shout out to Largo, Coach mm -hmm. Ball. Congratulations. Congratulations. Great job. Um, they have two of my kids on that team, on that program in Douglas. Um, have some Riverdale Baptist, so we have kids throughout the county. And, and now Capital Christian. And now Capital Christian. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I got and look, on board. We and, look forward, <laughs> and look forward to have more. You know, right. we just want to help represent the DMV in the strongest fashion. And we just wanted to show you uh, guys some love for your great c accomplishment. And then, ladies, get together. Can you tell me who uh, who is the, who are the state champions in Maryland? <laughs> like, I mean, like, like, like y'all mean it, y'all mean it. But who are the Maryland one A state champions? Is, 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 it the, is it the Ville? Is it the Ville? The night is so humble, so humble. All right, great job, coaches. Congratulations. Yes, thank Keep you. Up the great work. Congratulations. Thank you, thank you Andrew. Thanks for having us. Thank, All right. thank you.